I saw you many times, standing together amongst the vastness of sky, smoke spilling from your peaks, your guilty pleasure diffusing into the wind. I remembered how in summer you looked happy to simply sit and watch trains pass north for weekend holidays. We waved at each other, knowing I'd be back that way tomorrow. Years later, on a school trip, we were playing soldiers on a carriage, looking for an identity to hide us from others when your gaping height scared us all, unable to ever find a tree tall enough to take cover. I held my hand to the window and told you the same thing my mum told me and hoped you'd understand. I was nervous for an interview when I saw you next, but you were quiet now, had quit smoking, content to merely play cars, railways and milestones and looked at the horizon and think. Finally, I heard from a friend that you were leaving town. I turned up in a starched suit after work and found a thousand upturned faces watching their past crumple and then beat into dust. So long, friendly lighthouse, standard of home. Your time, like ours, is framed by change we can't control.